my dad, 60 years to finally get clean. Uncle passed out, thank God it wasn't lean. Loving took me to a point where I ain't never been. Had to pray to God, cause I was ready to sin. Chisel fighting every day just to save his fam. Why must life be so hard as a grown man? No matter what the goal is, always the win. To my hood, if I leave, please don't spin the bin. I know I'm loved, it's a blessing. Thank you all. No matter how far, always pick up the call. Rather be famous than rich any day. So I can spread the light. Because we're going to clear some shit right now for you fuck niggas, you hear me? You fuck bitches that talk about a nigga don't know what y'all be talking about. The kid ain't never fuck with no dope. I ain't never fuck with no crack. No pipe, no ruler, no none of that shit. What I have done, I've sniffed a lot of cocaine. I smoked a little bit of dust in my life. But I smoke weed. And I drink a little bit. But all that crackhead shit you niggas be trying to talk on my page and all that, I wish one of you niggas would just bump heads to me and get on some crackhead shit because I'm going to show you how much of a crackhead I am when I put this motherfucking fist on you first before I put something else on you. A crib with a bunch of hunters. I bet these niggas ain't see it coming. I'm shitting on people who ever fronted. Don't talk about problems you never wanted. Yeah, a crib with a bunch of hundreds. I bet these niggas ain't see it coming. I'm shitting on people who ever front it. Don't talk about problems. I'm old, but I'm still active and I, I I got a nice hand game. I ain't even gonna front and flex like, you know, I ain't bragging, but yeah, try me out. I beat one of you niggas up, man. Crackhead what? Nah, never no crackhead, bro. Got me fucked up. Uh, is it like, how, how long have you been dealing with social media? Going on like two years. This I'm fresh in this shit. Okay, wow. okay. What was your first impression of social media this whole game? I had a bad experience with that shit, man. You know, I had a bad experience with that shit. I, well, in Atlanta. I'm with a broad and shit. And she, she ain't really know me. I ain't know her. And she Googled my name and, 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 and shit came up about me and shit. And she kicked me out. She came and apologized, but she said it scared her. Mm. So from right there, I never, I said, fuck social media. You know what I'm saying? And I had a situation, so I really couldn't jack that shit. But once I came home, I did all my time here. I did all my time in Atlanta. So I'm, I'm, I'm clean now. I'm fresh now. So yeah, I'm on this shit, trying to promote my shit and, you know, do shit to get this bag and, like, you know, tell my side of the story. Mm. You know? How how involved were you in this uh, paid in full, you know what I mean, type of, you know, dream that, that now people have seen a movie and things has become so big, but you lived it. This was a part of your life. How much were you into this? How how much was it your story as well? As much as it's AZs, man. To be honest with you, I, I hate to even keep talking about it, man, but you know what, man? It's just facts, man. You understand what I'm saying? And you know, what can we do about the truth, man? Nothing. And the truth is, my nigga, like, yeah, I was there from day one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I bought Poe like I said I did. You know what I'm saying? And um, a few other niggas, Jason, you know what I mean? Kato, Travis, you know, all my niggas that I talk about in my joints, my nigga. Like, these was niggas that was my bros, like my niggas. And they was from different places, you feel me? And I was uptown with niggas getting a certain type of paper. And um, I just grabbed my niggas that I loved and just brought them on uptown and just showed them a whole different way of getting some real paper. You know what I'm saying? It's a shame that all of them is gone and shit. But every last one of these niggas, my nigga, was my brothers, man. And I love these niggas, you understand what I'm saying? And... You know what I'm saying? The same shit I did then, I would be doing right now if I was loaded. You know what I mean? Or if I was with a nigga that was loaded. My thing is to always help a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Try to help a nigga. You feel me? It's just all about more love. Like, I'd rather be with a real broke nigga than a fake rich one. You understand what I'm saying? So, I just, you know, I, I just try to, you know, I'm just solid, bro. That's just it, man. You know, I don't know, you know. Throughout all those years and everything, like like you saying, you lost a lot of them not here. Why was there so much violence like around that time? Why why was it so hot, so lit, so crazy, so you know what I mean? The, the murder capital, all types of wild shit. Like why was it so hot in the city and shit like that? 
But it was a lot of money in the city, bro. You know, when a lot of money, a lot of different crews. That brings a lot of different um, personalities. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women. You know, women, they constantly cause drama. I mean, you know women. I, I don't mean it like that. I'm sorry, but you know what I'm saying. But, yeah, you know, the women, you know, it, it, it mostly be about the women. You know what I'm saying? It be more about the women than it be about anything else, bro. Back then to now. And that's how it's going to always be, my nigga. Mm. The women. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Rather a nigga fucked a nigga bitch. You know what I'm saying? Rather a nigga violated a nigga bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's when it gets to crossing the line. Baby mama. It's going to always be, you know what I'm saying? So, the women. I respect them. I don't want no problems with no woman, man. Because I already know, man, you cannot beat them, man. Nigga, I try, but I always have to submit and say I'm sorry and be a bitch about it. Because I don't want no problems with no woman. They vicious, bro. They is vicious women. I mean, women is vicious, bro. So, I, you know, I, I guess I'm alive because I kind of try to just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I walk away easy. You understand what I'm saying? They don't get no stalking and, you know, none of that, you know, from me. You know what I'm saying? It's more so, you ain't listening to me, you ain't, all right, I ain't fucking with you. Don't call me no more. And I mean that shit, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Whereas other niggas, you know what I'm saying? A nigga know that this is this man, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Why? What's so special about this bitch? There's all these bitches out here. Why you want this man, bitch? You want his bitch because it's his bitch. So you think that's what a lot of the murders and the killings was over? Absolutely, bro. I know it, man. It wasn't too much about no money, my nigga. It, it, it wasn't then and it ain't now, bro. It wasn't about nothing, man. It is more so more about women, my nigga. Women gonna always rule this shit, my nigga. Women is they they yo my nigga they they, they, they those is the gangsters, my nigga. Besides the homeless, then in the movies it's portrayed like it's more about the money. That's yeah. the movie, you know. And that <laughs> I guess they just really just show like y'all what they wanted y'all to see. I'm telling you what y'all was supposed to hear and what y'all was supposed to see. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You were supposed to see niggas dying over women because that's what was happening back then. You know what I'm saying? And niggas was dying over disrespect. You know, rob a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, might want to extort a nigga because there was a lot of extortion going on back then. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, some niggas went for it, some niggas didn't. You dig what I'm saying? So it could be about anything but more so more about women. You know saying? Not to say that the women was wrong, you know what I'm saying? But it involved a woman. You know, kind of understand what I'm trying to say, bro? Some type of way. And Did you ever have any beef? I got what? shot up over a woman. I still don't know her. <laughs> I ain't never seen this girl. Wow. You know? Nigga, you got shot over a woman that you didn't times. know? Sure did. How old are you? In my twenties, man. Late twenties. I, I did the interview with the yellow top niggas, man. I had I had went to war with the niggas, man, over some dumb shit that I ain't even had nothing to do with, man. I just do what a real nigga do, man. A nigga called for help, man. I I I went for rescue, man. And you know, man, you know, uh man down, you know, casualties of war, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just mad that I got shot and only one that got shot. And I got shot first. Because all they did is what I was going to do, bro. So I can't really be but so mad, man. It is what it is, man. It's, I just I just can't be fake, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas did what they were supposed to do. I was going to do it to them. And it's just a fact. A man came and got me. It was a situation. Had we got there... It wouldn't have been no talking. They just beat me to the punch. They was thinking what I was thinking. You know what I'm saying? I respect them niggas, though. You know, I, mean, I truly do, man. You know what I mean? I respect them. Did, did it change your <clears throat> life, though? As far as what? As far as your mentality to the game and... Your, to who? To yourself. <laughs> the, your mentality on looking at the game and, like, life. You're like, yo, I got to switch shit up. Or I got to quit this shit. Or even though it wasn't over that... <laughs> This is part of my life, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna hold you, man. Right now, my nigga, to keep it real with you, I'm at war, man. 
I'm at war with the suckers. I'm at war with the snitches. I'm at war with the fuck niggas. I'm just at war right now. You understand what I'm saying? Real shit, man. Like, Harlem ain't what it... Harlem ain't what it used to be. And Harlem ain't what it should be. And this niggas here, my nigga, that's really just making this shit just like... And there's nobody that's trying to do nothing about it, my nigga. So... For me to just stop and give up and turn my back right now, against the law if I did that, I got to fight this war, man, win this war, man, and bring the streets back to real nigga shit, get this shit live again, cars everywhere, you know what I'm saying, I know niggas will be looking at this shit like, yo, this nigga gangsta look crazy, this shit will never get like that, it will, even if a nigga pull a 50, you know what I mean, if 50 could do it, anybody could do it, man, 50 a nigga, he came from out the street just like me, he got shot up just like me, you know what I'm saying? He just took his shit and went corporate and look at him now. You understand what I'm saying? And that's just all it is, bro. Like, man, it could be done, man. And I'm going to do it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's got a lot of work to do, man. But it's going to get done, man. Now, um, with all your experience and everything you've been through through the streets, man, um, what, what was one of your most toughest things that you had to face? My toughest thing? Um, what, the hardest, what was one of your hardest life experiences dealing with all of this? The toughest thing I'm going to say is my mom was dying on me when I was in jail. You know, I had, I had just went and seen my mom's like on a Tuesday, you feel me? And uh, I had a situation once again, a real serious one. And, uh, I had wound up getting, I, before I had left her in the hospital, I had said to her, I said, I said, Ma, you ready to go? And she said, wait, I said, down south, I'm going to take you down south with me. And she looked up at me, and she said, son, go get it right. Go get it right. So, well, well her saying that, me and my man Maniac, I ain't going to forget it, my nigga Maniac was in the room with me when she said it and shit. I look at my nigga Maniac, <laughs> my nigga Maniac look at me, and we walk out my Bob's room, and he could already tell, like, I'm about to snap, man, because I'm, I'm getting my moms down south by all means necessary, like, if I got to die to get this shit done, I'm getting it done. But I wound up getting caught that next day, which was Wednesday. So, uh, I get caught. They had me in a terror game room for 56 hours. And then I just kind of like, man, you know, fuck that shit, man. Listen, man, this is what's going to happen, man. Y'all niggas shackle me up, take me to the hospital, give me five minutes with my moms, and I'm going to let y'all niggas know what time it is with me. The whole situation, man. <clears throat> but I think that they thought I was bullshitting. But that's just how bad I, I wanted to just see my mom's because I knew I wasn't going to see her again. Mm. I wanted to see my mom so bad that I was willing to say I did some shit that I didn't even do. That's how come I know there's plenty of people in jail for shit that they didn't do, bro. I almost was one of them. I was willing to say I did some shit and spend the rest of my life in prison. And I didn't even do that shit. I done a lot of shit, but I didn't do that. And 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 I was willing to say I did it. I just needed to just just have five minutes with my mother, just explain to her, like, look, you ain't gonna see me for a while, but look, you know what I mean? So I walk around with that shit in me every day. I wake up. It's send me when I go to sleep. Before I go to sleep, it's send me. It's constantly in my head like, damn. I don't know if she went feeling like I let her down because I didn't come back and get her or, or what. But I guess one thing for sure, though, knowing Mama Brown, because that was the gangster, she wouldn't have had it no other way. Had I had did fuck shit or told on somebody or did some, anything like that, however, man, you know what I mean? 
so. Mm. Um. Now another person that was really close to you, um, Rich Porter. W when did when did you uh, first meet him? The very first time. Yeah, the legendary Rich Porter man, and Rich Porter, he's like he's like a giant. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he for him to be that young and to have that much influence. And he was so tiny, man. He's a little guy, man. Not you know to me because I'm so tall, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, real soft spoken, man. This how he. This how he sit. You would never see Rich if he sit down. He gonna have his leg crossed like this. <laughs> no bullshit. That's his thing. I, I, you know, I had some funny experience with him. I'm gonna tell you one story that's funny as hell, man. I remember one time, cause he always go to the shows and shit. He like going to concerts and shit. So one day he said, hey, he said, man, come on, man, I got some tickets, man, come on, man. I'm taking you and Lou, man, to, with me to the concert, man, y'all going to the show with me, man. So, you know, me and A, we go get us some gear and get fly, whatever, whatever. You know, he he stay fly. I don't even think he ever wear the same shit twice. Hmm. So, me and A, we go get shit, so we go get fly, whatever, whatever, so we link up with him. So we shoot down the Radio City Music Hall, so he give us our tickets. We look up at the thing, it say Frankie Beverly and Mays. We and A get to looking at each other like Frankie Beverly and Mays. <laughs> Fuck going on, man. We thinking it's some Run DMC or something. Cause one time me and A went there and see Run DMC. So you know me and A looking at, you know, what the fuck going on, man? Frankie Beverly and Mays, man. Me and A don't even know these niggas' music. So we get in the, in, in, in the spot and get the people our ticket. Them people stop us right there. This man Rich kept walking. So I get the elbow on A like, yo, man, where, where Rich going? A said, nah, yo, yo, yo. Nigga Rich looked back at us. He said, A said, what the fuck? He said, what do you, I said, hey, he waved like, go ahead. <laughs> so he said, all right, so come on, man. So me and A went, and we sat down. Frankie Beverly and them come on the stage. They get to the going into their shit. Me and A looking at this man, Rich. He went and sat in the front, bro, by his motherfucking self, bro. <laughs> and you would have thought they were singing to him. I swear to God, <laughs> yo, me and A wanted to fight him so bad. How you, yo, my nigga, <laughs> yo, B. That's some fly shit right there. All I see was that peanut head just <laughs> singing and just every song, fingers popping. <laughs> me and A in the, in, in the third row like this, just looking at him like, boy, this nigga Rich is just too much, B. He couldn't get us no tickets up there. He ain't even tell us. But that was rich, man. You know, he, he he was a hell of a dude, man. He was different, man. He was just so different, man. He just did everything different, man. But I, How old were y'all when y'all met? I can see the age thing kind of fucked me up. I ain't gonna lie. Exper the, the, the tragedies and the, the times and shit you don't forget. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Numbers, names. <laughs> yeah, he said I was speeding, man. Those kind of things kind of, kind of like, you know what I'm saying? But I don't read nothing off nothing, so that's how you know my shit is authentic. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's coming straight from the the, the brain out the mouth. You dig me? Mm hmm But um, I was, I'm younger than all of them anyway. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And that's another reason. I'm, I'm younger than Poe. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So, um, yeah, man, you know. Cause he was I, young himself. I I paid more attention to A Z than I did anybody. And I could truly thank God to to, to today that I did. Because if I would have not, I wouldn't be here today. A always was a thinker. And A he don't panic. 
I never seen him under pressure. Never, ever seen him under pressure, my nigga. I'm talking about, yo, so what I'm going to, yo, what the fuck? I've never, ever, 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 ever seen A under pressure. I'm talking about through the most serious shit. This man is calm. You understand me? Yeah. So I paid more attention to A. You understand what I'm saying? Because Rich always here, he there, he move a lot. Poe, I bought him in, so what am I following him for? That don't make no sense. You understand what I'm saying? He didn't bring me in, I bought him in, so yeah. why would I be following him? So I don't even include him in that. It's really A and Rich. Poe was not no boss to me. He was not my boss. I've never worked for him. He's never given me no work. I've never took no work. I never took no orders. I never did shit for Poe. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it was cool though. I bought him in. Yeah, yeah we was cool. Yeah, yeah. I would have never bought him in if yeah. we wasn't. I mean, cool. I mean, as as it was going on, yeah, yeah, was, still was cool. cool. But I started seeing shit. Okay. You understand me, my nigga? I started seeing shit at a young age, bro. See, let me tell you this, man. I could always chew gum, talk at the same time. A, he gonna chew gum and then talk. You understand know what I'm saying? I could do both at the same time. That's how I'm, I'm ahead of A. I see shit A don't see. I hear shit A don't hear. You understand what I'm saying? Me and A lived a life like motherfuckers would be playing devil's advocate with each other. Who could come up with the best thought going to be the winner? But it was not that. It was just that's how we just dealt with each other. But even if A felt like you was right and he was wrong, he still would just claim to be right. And if you were smart, you wanted your job, you didn't want him to cut you off, whatever, whatever, you shut the fuck up. It's just as simple as that. And let him deal with whatever he's going to deal with. And then look at him and say, oh, hey, I was going to tell you. But when I tried to tell you, you told me, you know what I'm saying? So I shut up. That's how it always worked with me and A. You know? Mm. I mean, um, as far as uh, your relationship with uh, Rich, um, what was like the aftermath? <coughs> was, you know, everything happened and he, he was gone from the picture. It was a dent in Harlem, bro. Rich had a laugh, man. His laugh was so... His laugh made you laugh if you was mad. You know what I'm saying? Rich was different, man. He was he was different. He, 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 he didn't project to be no gangster, no tough guy, no none of that. If he had to, then you know, but he he he, he was ice water. Sergio Trutini suits, different colors. Motherfucker Reebok classics. That's his that's his shit right there. <laughs> I even know his jewelry, the ring that looked like it was like a like a safe that had big stones in the middle, three big like three big stones in each row. Then he had the cross that looked like it looked like a like a I can't really describe it. I, yo, that, that that was that was that was that was the king, my nigga. That was the king, my nigga. I'm, I'm, right, here. I'm right here. Fully loaded, anybody can get it, the nigga. Looking for me? Yeah, I'm right here. Fully loaded, anybody can get it, the nigga. Looking for me? Yeah, I'm right here. Fully loaded, anybody can get it, the nigga. Looking for me? Yeah, I'm right here. Here I am, live in the flesh. Any issues, I'll be glad to address. My niggas riding.